all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how to add or remove band from your imagery for example in this particular video i'm going to use the multi-band uh, imagery sentinel 2 imagery and then i'm going to remove some of the band and get only the rgb band and also similarly i'm going to add the new band is a ndvi band and uh, i am going to attach it to the original raster and then save it as a new image so if you don't know like how to do this process in python make sure to watch this video till the end so let's get started all right so in order to do that we need uh, the package python package called rasterio and uh, using this rasterio we can do the raster processing and then uh, we are able to like add or remove the band and there are lots of other things that we can do as well so if you want to like explore these things make sure to view this documentation it's a really nice place to get start with the rasterio and for here so i'm going to install the rasterio library with just pip install rasterio and it will able to install the rasterio package and similarly i'm going to connect my uh, drive so that i can get my raster imagery so it's mounting and it's done so now i have my drive and uh, now i can get the raster data set from my drive so my data set is available in this path and then the name of the data set is hetauda as to 2020 12 and uh, so i'm going to like work with this data set so before like starting adding or removing band i want to like read this data set and then uh, just to just want to explore the metadata and then the shape of the imagery so in order to do that i am going to import the rasterio is real and then also i need numpy is np mpy sorry numpy is np and after that so i simply can read the rasterio file with rio.open and then i can provide the raster path and if i type src.meta it will output the metadata of that raster so this this raster is floating 32 bit raster and no data value is none and we have these are the like width and height of this raster this six represent the there are six band of course in this particular raster i have downloaded the rgb nir swir1 and swir2 band so that's why we are seeing six bands so and then the crs and transformation parameters and first of all i want to read it as a uh, numpy array so in order to do that so you can simply type src dot read and then it will definitely read your file and then uh, now you can you can like get the actual array of this data so since it's six band and then it has this width and height so you are seeing that but normally in python numpy so what we do is we write the x and y value is the first and second uh, order matrix and then uh, the band in the third uh, set so what i mean is i'm simply going to like transpose it so that i get the actual shape so if i say it so if i transpose it now i have width height and band uh, order and now if you want to like simply visualize this raster so maybe you can use the matplotlib function to visualize it and uh, of course it will be ds since it's our data and uh, first three band here i'm reading all the like columns and then just the three bands that means it's rgb and then here i'm reading all the other columns and then last three represent the nir band because uh, 
always the uh, like array count from zero. So zero, one, and two are for RGB and then three for NIR. So if I run this, so you'll see the RGB and NIR. Similarly, if you want to visualize the SWIR band, so simply you can add that as well with the simply adding three axes and then here maybe you can add four which is SWIR one and uh, you also might need to change the axis so if you run it so you will get the RGB NIR and SWIR one band all right so this is my RGB uh, raster and then this is my NIR uh, and then this is my SWIR of course RGB is little bit like harder to see of course I, I have like uh, shown you like how to enhance the imagery in a similar way you can enhance this imagery and visualize but for now I'm not going to waste my time on like repeating same thing so now I'm done with like exploring the library and its metadata so now I'm going to add the uh, I mean first I, I'm going to remove the NIR and SWIR1 and SWIR2 rasters so in order to remove those so you can simply write new raster equal to uh, your data uh, all the like arrays and then of course you can get the first uh, all the like value of the width and height and then in the depth actually uh, depth represent the bands of course you can terminate it by three just getting the rgb band right so this way you can simply get the uh, new raster with the shape of width and height and uh, only the three so this is our rgb data set and of course uh, in order to save it so you first need to edit your metadata so of course uh, your out meta will be um, ds not ds src dot meta uh, which is the output metadata and then if you check the output metadata uh, all the other things are same but the count is six right so we don't need count equal to six because our new raster is only three band that's why we are going to update it with the uh, three count equal to three three sorry i need this comma count three and then run it and now uh, in order to like save it as a new raster so you you can like write this thing so with rio dot open and then you you have to like provide the location of new raster of course it's three band and then open it with the um, write command and then it's out meta and then dsc and dsc dot write new raster but one problem with this step is like the new raster has the shape of width comma height comma band but actually in rastrio we get the like band in the first uh, band is the first value and other width and height is the second value so that's why we again need to like uh, transpose our new raster with the uh, with like new raster dot dot t and then if we now check the new raster shape so it will be band and width and height so now we can simply run this cell to like save our three band raster so i think it should appear right here so if you like download this raster uh, you can simply visualize it in qgis as well and then you'll only see the uh, three bands all right so that's all about like removing your band and then saving it uh, is a uh, like less band image of course you can in a similar way you can save only the red band or only the nir band and now i'm going to compute the ndbi and attach it into the seventh uh, band number so in order to do that first of all i am going to calculate the ndbi the formula of ndbi is nir minus uh, red divided by NIR plus red uh, the 
fourth band which is index S3 represent the NIR and then zero is the red band for me. NIR minus red divided by NIR plus red. So this is my NDVI value. And then if I type NDVI dot shape, you will get only the width and height, right? So now in order to save it as a new raster. So first of all, I, I'm going to assign the new raster is NP dot uh, or maybe NP dot zeros. And then uh, in the zeros, you have to provide the shape of your image, uh, which is DS dot shape zero which is width and ds dot shape one which is height and then of course uh, i'm going to add the ndvi the, uh, then i'm writing seven so that means all the band will be there and then we are adding another band called ndvi so yeah so in order to add new band so of course your all the data set is same your width and height and up to the six band up to the six band you have like ds which is a six band raster and then for the ndfi so simply write it is like the last band which is represented by six and uh, so you can simply write ndfi is your last band and if you type new raster dot shape and you will get the new raster okay which is seven band raster and in a similar way we are going to update the out meta out meta dot update and then your count will be this time seven and now we are going to transpose our new raster as well new raster dot t and now if i see out meta or the new raster dot shape so you will see all the required information so it's seven band and then now new raster is already transposed with the like band comma width comma height format so if you want to like visualize uh, it so maybe you can use the uh, matplotlib function so maybe I think we again need to like transpose it in order to visualize it. So sorry, sorry about that. So raster dot t. So just for visualization, I'm again transforming it, and then we can see all the RGB, NIR, SWIR, and NDVI bands. So in order to visualize the NDVI, so I'm I'm simply adding it adding one because uh, our ndvi value lies between minus one to plus one so i want to make sure that all my values are positive and then divided by three that's because uh, if i like add one then uh, my maximum value i think i need to divide by two it uh, really doesn't matter it's just for the like visualization but yeah so let it be run so I'm dividing it by two because I just want to normalize it between my values between like zero and one. So first I add one, that means uh, simply I'm adding all the NDVI values between zero and two and divided by two, that means all my values will be between zero and one. So this is my NDVI image. So in order to save it, so now again we need to transpose it so that it will be actually in the band width and height format and in order to like save it so maybe i can simply copy this code and then paste it here and then maybe it's seven band raster and then now out meta and new raster okay so that's all okay so you can already like see that our new raster with seven band is created successfully and now if we download it we can simply visualize it for now i already downloaded the three band raster so maybe in qgis so this is my like three band raster so it's only the rgb so 
yeah it's sentinel imagery that's why it's not very clear but it's like 10 by 10 meter resolution so it's my only rgb band so you can also like check the raster properties from here all right it's opening all right so in the source or the information so yeah it has width and height and fluid 32 bit raster and it has only band one two and three that's all okay so all right so in this way you can simply like uh, add or remove the bands from your uh, image so i hope uh, this video is helpful to you if uh, you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching